Welcome back to Good Days in Law. Tiffany Cook joins us from Fort Polk to tell us more about the month of the military child. Tiffany, thank you for joining us today. Hi, thank you for having us. So yeah, for 37 years, the Department of Defense has celebrated month of the military child. And you'll notice I'm wearing purple today. So that's kind of the color for awareness for month of the military child. Um, it blends all service colors together. Uh, and it makes a really pretty purple color. So oh, if you cool. think about red and green and the two blues from the Air Force and the Navy, so it's not just an Army thing, it is Department of Defense and recognizes all service branches. Wow. So uh, all around the state at Joint Base New Orleans, they'll be doing different things. Barksdale has some different things planned. And then of course, uh, we're very proud at Fort Polk to be the leading service branch with the most service members. And we've got lots of things going on. So this Friday, we'll kick it off with a proclamation signing. We'll have kids as well as senior leaders there. It's a celebration with cake and all kinds of great things. But the, the month is proclaimed by the senior leadership that awareness will be made aware for the sacrifices that our military children make while their parents are on active duty service. Absolutely. Uh, deployment moving several times. You know, most military kids move nine times wow. within their 12 years of school, uh, which is part of our job is making sure that at each installation, everyone's got a school liaison officer, that the child is welcome, that if they were doing gymnastics before, they can find another gymnastics and gym to plug into or orchestra or things like that. And so we're really happy that the Alexandria community, as well as Leesville and DeRitter, really support that and our military families in offering some of those things. Of course. So for the month of the military child, though, like I said, we'll kick it off with the proclamation signing. Then we have an egg hunt the next day at our post exchange. After that, events just keep coming. We have something planned almost for every day. Wow. Um, we'll have three youth fishing tournaments. One will be on the installation at the Catfish Derby. Uh, the other two will be, uh, one will be at Toledo Bend. That one is completely open to the public, so anyone in the area that wants to bring their youth up to fish, they'll be able to do that. And we'll have another one at Alligator Lake, which is also public land that's outside of our access point. So again, anyone that has a kid that would like to participate in those youth fishing tournaments can. Um, the Catfish Derby will be on the installation. It's also in partnership with Earth Day. So we will have Mario and Luigi out there. Those are two pine snakes, so you also can get some environmental lessons on environmental protection, and Mario and Luigi are both endangered species. So there's a whole division at Fort Polk that makes sure all out in that training area that we are paying very attention and environmental considerations to include all of those animals. So they, they've got other animals too, but Mario and Luigi are favorites because kids <laughs> can hold them and see them, and uh, they come out to the schools as well. We'll also have a color run uh, next weekend We'll have an open event again called Chalk the Walk, which is where it'll be an open walk out at Honor Field. There'll be sidewalk chalk and other spring activities for kids to, to interact with. We'll have scavenger hunts all month long and a kids art show. How fun, a lot of great things. Yeah, we're very excited. It's a super busy month. It leads us into May and kind of the end of school as well. But um, April is one of my favorite months. <laughs> oh, of course. Yes, yes, I'm sure it is. Yes, and I'm sure the kids enjoy it, too. They do. They do. Our kids definitely look forward to it. Um, we didn't have the calendar printed in time yet to share. We wanted to share it as a graphic with you all, but it just got published yesterday. But at our school age center, which is an after school program on the installation, one of the kids was so excited when they were leaving to see that it was sitting up there so they could take it home to plan <laughs> everything out in April with their parents. Our kids also start to know, like, this is my month. There's going to be so much for us to do. Absolutely, yes. That is fantastic. And, you know, for anyone looking for more information on these events, is there a website that they can go to? They can. So um, our JRTC and Fort Polk webpage will have different links. Um, Facebook, both of those, so the DFMWR, which is Department of Family Morale and Welfare and Recreation, so at Polk, uh, that one, you'll be able to find all the information. That's where the really neat calendar that the kid was so excited about is posted. <laughs> uh, and then there'll be a link to it on our JRTC and Fort Polk webpage. Fantastic. Well, Tiffany, thank you so much for joining us today and yes, telling absolutely. us all about these events and great uh, to remember the month of the military child. Yes, thank you so much. Of course. And we'll be right back with more Good Day Cinema right after this break.